Me, Dan. So the injection you're talking about has actually been through a randomized controlled trial in women who have sex with men, but also in men who have sex with men around the world, and has shown an incredible reduction in HIV infection in people who have been administered the injection compared with people who took the oral PrEP. And we think this is probably because it's hard to do something daily, whereas once an injection is in, it's in and it can do its job. And so, um, you know, we've seen better results with the injectable agent. Yeah, and I mean, we know in our country we have, I guess, uh, one of the highest rates of HIV in the world, although there has been a bit of a decline, such an injection could really help uh, save lives. Indeed. You know, the thing we really want to do with an epidemic, as we learned in the COVID era, is you want to treat those people who are already infected. And you've mentioned we have almost 8 million people who need antiretrovirals daily. We've got uh, 5.8 already on. We've got to find the other 2 million um, and get them onto treatment, make sure they take their treatment and are virally suppressed. On the other hand, we want to prevent people getting infected with HIV. And this is where pre-exposure mm. comes into play. Um, and it's a very important new modality that we want to see rolled out across the whole country. Yeah. I mean, uh, where does South Africa's medical uh, uh, regulatory approval, where do they stand on this? Well, we actually do have this injectable agent approved. So at this moment for pre-exposure prophylaxis, we have oral PrEP approved. We have the vaginal ring approved for women, uh, for people who have sex via the vagina. This is also now approved. And thirdly, we now have the injectable agent. 